Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. As I'm at the stop and go station, which I think this, by the way, this whole second area, whenever I've watched people do Let's Plays of Donkey Kong Country, it seems like this is when people start to really get tripped up, is this second set of stages, and especially the stop and go station. But, oh, I didn't know you could just, whoa, what the, whoa, whoa, oh my god, I never knew about that secret, holy crap. I just found something new, and I'm about to... Wait a second, wait a second, oh god, nope. Fuck. I meant to do this. Why Why is it lasting so... What the f... What the hell? I did not know about that. Oh my god. That is a giant secret. I just thought, eh, I'll check the left. I never... I don't know if I've done that here. Oh, I'm 20%, it's exactly the same. That's funny. This must have been what I played last time. I do want, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to beat the level normally and see if I have a higher percentage and see if that counts, because I'm curious now. Well, you just witnessed history in the making, guys. My personal history, that is. But still, in a, in a way, the finding of a new secret. The finding of a new secret. I don't know if there's any actual other secrets in this level, because it's a level that you really just have to focus on playing through because it's such a challenging level. But hey, I don't know. Maybe there are somewhere, somewhere else. But yeah, this is definitely a level where you just need to run the hell through it. But if you notice... Okay, okay, by the way, this thing is tricky. This is where you have to use one of the... Uh, you, you really have to know the mechanics of the game to get this, and maybe that's why they have it there. But you can jump in the middle of a cartwheel, even if you're falling, as you noticed I just did. And that's the mechanic that this plays off of. Okay, this might be where there's a secret. Yeah, there we go. So there is a secret here outside of it. I'm glad I did this. And we're going to check my percentage afterwards, too. If I really wanted to test stuff out, I could just die right here and see what it counts as. But I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to play through the level again. No, diagonally. There. Maybe as long as you go through the hole, then it counts. But there's somewhere you, it just ends by you falling. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. What do you think I am? Some sort of fortune teller? Oh god, that's gonna be, yeah, I was like, that could be a close call. Ah, shit, damn it, damn it, damn it. No, I need Diddy Kong. Oh, well, he should be, I hear him. Oh god, okay. Come on, ooh, ooh. Oh, this is just fast right here, it's really, this is all like, <gasps> oh, I, I didn't think I made it at first. Oh god, oh god, okay. That was all felt really close. I said I was gonna talk about the history of Donkey Kong, but stuff happened, guys. Okay, let's see what, what my percentage is now. 21%, so I did get one more percent. It probably is just for that secret area. I, I doubt it's from getting all the Kong, I would think. Millstone Mayhem. I think this is a level I really liked. Yeah, I love this level. This level's awesome. And there's a secret right at the top. Actually, so, something I didn't mention is if you were if you uh, got Nintendo Power as a kid, which I did, I was a Nintendo Power kid. Um, there are a bunch of secrets that they showed off. So there was a video to promote Donkey Kong Country that they gave to people who were uh, subscribed to Nintendo Power and got Nintendo Power in the magazine. In the magazine, got Nintendo Power. I'm just gonna go here. Every in the mail. Oh, what? That's. I guess it's, there's a thing that I drop on right there. Yeah. What the hell is that dynamite for then? Oh, maybe it's just to kill those those buff dudes, or it's for right here. I don't really know. <gasps> I missed the K. Really? Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go back. We gotta find out where that K is. That's of the utmost importance. Where is the K? Uh, I mean, it's not here. What the hell? What the hell? Where are you, Kay? Can't be there. I'm so confused. So yeah, Nintendo Power sent out a videotape, like a VHS tape, to people who were subscribed to Nintendo Power. And in it, they had a feature about Donkey Kong Country. I don't think you can kill these gerbils, so it's not gonna be there. Maybe if I drop right here? I don't know. Whatever, lost cause. Doesn't matter for my percentage, so I don't care anymore. <laughs> Um, 
Oh, that's where I needed that bar- Oh, I just gotta kill myself. Because now I need the little barrel thing so I can get the secret. Bye, me. And in the tape, they talked about the making of Donkey Kong Country a bit. And they showed different features about this is how we made it, this is what we did, this is some behind the scenes. But another thing that they had on top of that, which I appreciated, was they, they showed like some playthrough of it to obviously promote and hype up the game. But they were talking about how there's all these secrets in the game. They're like, guys, there's so many secrets. That's why this game's gonna be so cool. And yeah, there's some secrets that I didn't know about that, uh, well, obviously, because I didn't have the game yet and was hyping it up, but I don't know if I would have found when I was a kid if they hadn't shown it. And one of them is in the ice stage that we're gonna come up to, and I'll point it out when I get there that that's how I found out about it was this videotape. But I still remember to this day that that's how I found it, which I guess is kind of funny that that's, I still remember that. All right, so what you wanna do here is you actually don't wanna, you can't drop that, that tire down there because you just gotta use it to get, yeah, up here. Rare. Back in the day that they were really good. Although I haven't played Sea of Thieves, which is out yet. I just haven't had a chance to. So, history of Donkey Kong. Let's let's talk about some Donkey Kong, just because I said I would, and I don't want to let you guys down. Oh, whoa. No! I got it way too early. Well, there's the times three. Now I know where it's at if I ever play this again. I didn't remember where it was, so... Whatever. That's all right. Wait a second. Oh, wait, is this times two now? No, it just says two. But it's not giving me the times two, so I don't know anymore. Now I'm just confused. I'm gonna just hug all the walls at this point. Uh-oh. I think it's at the bottom, actually. To be honest. So maybe if I... I don't know. I don't care that much about lives right now, but... So I'm, I'm like debating if I just want to check for the secret walls or not. Or just get these things. Let's let's check secret walls. Let's do that. Let's see if I'm right about it being at the bottom. Wait a second. It looks like there's something to the left. I need to check. I need to find out. It's so important. This is it. Here's where it's at. The real one. Okay. I was right about going down for it. So remember I keep on saying I'm going to talk about Donkey Kong Country history stuff. And then keep on interrupting myself. Yeah, let's talk about Donkey Kong Country history stuff. Alright, so... Back when Nintendo first started... Um, and this was... I'm trying to remember if this was... What specific time this was. So this was before the NES... Had released, if I remember correctly. Damn, that guy's ruining my style. Let me see if I can despawn him. I can't. This is, ain't the NES, son. You can't despawn people. Uh, SNES? What, what am I even thinking? <gasps> I, I did it. I made it. God, I can't believe I can't remember the exact date right now. It's kind of driving me crazy. Oh, now I gotta watch for Balloon. I'll try to think about the day while I'm watching for the Balloon. Of all this. Oh, I failed! No! Stomp on your hat, Diddy Kong. I'm the worst. Well, whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. It's just... What it does matter for is, uh, let's see. Yes, it was before the NES. I can, it 100% was before the NES. So, before the NES came out, Nintendo was already doing its thing and making systems and whatever. We, we don't need to talk about it right now, all right? If you wanna, you want a history of the NES, go watch my history of the NES Chronicles of Gaming video. There, that, do that. I'm just gonna say, go watch that. But, this is, hold on, hold on a second. This is, this is kinda hard to do. Did it. No! I accidentally pressed Y so you rolled off. Son of a bitch. Actually, I don't even know if I was supposed to do that anyway, so. Whatever. Now I can go do this one again. And... Oh, never mind. I was like, maybe I can go back in time and get that one that I missed. Oh, I guess if I just walk backwards, I would have. Right, anyways, what I actually need to do here is jump. And jump up. Oh, there we go. Okay, got my frog. This is so intense, guys. So, so intense, I can't even talk about historical stuff. I need to keep my frog. I need to keep my frog. Can we jump on this? I don't know. I guess I shouldn't try. I'll just have to run through. Oh, God, I, I really want to drop down there and see if there's a secret down there, but 
I also feel like that's a really bad idea. Okay, why do I want this frog? Show me what the frog was for. <gasps> no! This is probably where I needed the frog. I bet this is it. I bet this is it. Oh, well, you could use the frog right there to bounce on the bee. And I guess to get up there, maybe. I don't know. I'm so bad at telling stories. That's what I'm realizing. You're lucky you caught me. I was just heading out. A leap of faith is all it takes to find Winky in Barrel Cannon Canyon. Steel ring barrels break only when they hit a wall. Say, is that the time? I gotta fly. Barrel Cannon Canyon. And you'll find Winky. Which one was Barrel Cannon Canyon? I think that was like way earlier. I think that was the first stage. Alright, well, whatever. I don't care. Alright, let's go to Neki's Nuts. What a great name. And I will actually tell the history. Alright, so. Here's what's up. So basically, way back before when Nintendo was just making arcade games and all that, they had one called Radar Scope. And Radar Scope uh, was something that... Uh, basically, uh, Minoru Arakawa had started Nintendo of America. Finally, like he he started it by the request of the head of Nintendo Japan, and he was then head of Nintendo Japan Hiroshi Yamauchi's son-in-law. So he was a real estate guy before he started Nintendo of America at the behest of Hiroshi Yamauchi, and Nintendo of America was really struggling and not doing well, and he was trying to find the next big hit that would make Nintendo of America just take off and finally work well for Nintendo of America because he was given a budget by Nintendo of Japan, but not like the biggest budget in the world. And he thought Radar Scope would be his hit. And this is what we're going to talk about next episode because I think it's been uh, over 15 minutes at this point. I could be wrong. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll do a next episode for real this time. Sorry, guys. See you in the next episode where I actually talk about the history of Donkey Kong. Later, guys. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>